fill up. Mordekaiser claps Camille, by the way. This is a great 1v1. And if she ever like ults someone else, you just like grab her and like turn off the ulti basically. Yeah, it, it's also a pretty nice interaction against Slush because one of these has gotta be getting low and will be a very meaningful crash from Shelly. Uh, they do have the wrap around here. We'll see if they can okay. find a play. We're gonna get much here after move. Gonna go for the W. He's oh, not nice. done so. He chose to grieve for that escape, but that means no way out. First blood, 100 gold, take a dragon. That is always worthwhile. So Philip, I don't know if the call was. Never mind, we can't do it. I don't know, that felt weird. No, oh. this tower is just going down very, very quickly. I think they can just finish it, to be honest. Yeah, they know Camille has no TP. I guess they don't see her. No, she's actually fighting with Mordecai. So yes, that's going to be one. Then we've on a two, a quick chomp for Aphrodite. Maybe spin him back out, get some move speed. You know, did not have the flash for the mobility after that. The hookshot was used early. Trying again to reset this wave, but it's just such an awkward position for Philip to be in. And that's why Jose is up here. Well, goes for the dunk yet again. Gupsy should have the shield. Hate it as long as he can, but isn't enough damage. Oh, he pulls one in, but yes, Philip gets the kill. Oh and maybe take away some camps on top side, maybe try to then move up towards that top lane tier one and try to get two towers for the trade. Uh, but that is sole point here at 19 minutes for Dig. So we'll go to the Corky though, plus 300 out of him now as we get to the, see the mid lane go in. Quick engage there in the front line. Ulti out of Jose Diodo, still buying a lot of time there. In goes Jarvan, Victor stun for a second, but now Afmu grabs him to safety. He's gonna be just fine. No engage, really, no kills to be found. Mid lane wave, and they're gonna cut off most of FlyQuest. So they get some alone time in this turret, Philip, I mean, looking around the flank, but as long as Gomsi is holding ult, any flanker is immediately not threatening anymore. And that's going to be turret falling. So well done, Digitas. They already got first turret earlier on. They get the end to Drake, and they trade back the objective that Flyco tried to Here cross. Comes Here comes Philip. Goes for the ult. He doesn't get much done. Goes towards River. And there's the dunk back. It's going to be Gomsi over the solo kill package. Looks pretty solid, but not going to get much of a kill. How much damage will Philip lose because he's down to 300? The re engage comes across, and Gomsi's left alone. He survives long enough. Philip brings him. Victor around. They can push him off, but low health bars on Neo. No mana on Biofrost. And now Blue's getting chunked out. Damn it. Has the Valkyrie away, though. Oh, he's just one before. Close. Okay. Holding him off for longer. I think he's still putting damage down. 140 health on the red buff. 4k HP. River has a flag. He has a smite. He has an ult. He does have a way to steal Life it. Expire. But they're gonna flip. Jumps in way too low on the health. Oh, but Victor's in to make him even lower. A double kill so far. Jarvan drops and Jose oh, he has the smite. Chukui able to get the last shot across. Never plus the IE. Um, but this is a very strong two item power spike. Uh, and if, if that's the best you think you can do for this next dragon, that is huge. Oh, oh no, no. Blast blend hit, River's in a bad spot. Will respawn before the Drake does, but he's still gonna lose his life. A quick Tom Kitchell for safety. Gonna chomp in. Gamsu, not a whole lot to do. Saves the ulti, burns at the last second. And now with some Sin Zhao stats, we'll just die at the end anyway. Good damage to the Victor, though. Still gonna try for a little bit longer, but no, it's not gonna look too good. Aphrom is still on the front line, has a shield. Typically pushed away, but Blue's gonna run out of, LP, uh, out of HP, gets a quick stun. But is there enough going on? A root on the Neo, he's gonna like drop as well, dives in. The double auto would have killed the core keeper. The blast cone, it looked like, not sure who actually hit it, but sent River back in to die. And now they're getting so much on the tail end of this Baron buff. It looked like they had with, you know, withstood the push here from FlyQuest, had kind of waited out that Baron Of course, Mortal is down, Smite is up. If you win this Smite fight, suddenly get Dragon Soul, the game feels a lot closer. And it would be winnable. I would say Dragon Soul nearly ties the scoreboard. Yeah, the poke is really what they have to deal with here. Blackwest are not rushing it because they know that is the option for Ding Toss. You know, they're just going to try to look to whittle you down with the Quirky. We got to see how much they can hit. But the longer they wait, the closer we get to Mordulti and a what and like a hundred zero smite fight. So we're five seconds away from that reality where Dig is like, look, just burn this thing, all ult Sin Zhao, and it's yours, poke, baby. Man. But yeah, that poke is going to hurt. How many will Dig lose on the way to Dragon? Is the question, or will they just get away? And it's like, yeah, they just have to give it up. Mordult's up, but it's not going to happen. Out we go. Yep. I think it was a respectable attempt. I think Flyquest played it correctly, though, as well. Good skill accuracy by Tukoy. And now the TP is going to come in. They're going to try it for their best. Mordecai's around package will burn this down rather quickly. 4K health spotted again by the flag. They sit there at 2.5. It's getting oh really God. low. He's got to find his way in. Will there be a fight? Here comes a dive, and no one's going to be allowed in. It should be a smite claim twice in a row. Now for Jose Diodo, a stopwatch by the second. Oh. The one for one so far is... Oh, wow. Yeah, Camille trades back with the Jarvan. The river drops. Shots look pretty what good. What is Corky? Like, <laughs> what is that champion? That a damage level is 16 insane. Mid-laner. A level 16, three at a mid laner. A lot of poke looking really good. Zoning out the squad. Burns down the bear on a one for one team fight. At that point, by the way, walking faster than recalling, but Gamsu back into the base, and it's time to now start knocking down structures. Dragon Soul, not a threat. At least not yet. One minute to go. 
Falcon here playing up. It is a 4v4. And they cannot compete on this poke. It's again, though. All right. Time to flip it. I think you just commit you to this. Kind of ulti. Get over to Jose Diotto. Where are you? You got to get this one going down. River down a bit low. 2k health. 1700. 1400. And there we go. Objective bounty claim. Dragon still is on. Do Diotto has had the fight is the question now. Jose Diotto low. Over the wall. The chase down for Gumps, who gets it with the Q. Four versus four, I do believe. Will there be the rest of it? Steve in the base, though. Into the base. Philip blocks it. Santa goes down. Will there be a recall for safety? Blue's running for his life. But how can they stop, stop the, the recall? Suku is there. He's going to look for Gums, too. This should be an easy kill for him. Still out of the base. Philip at 200 health, but the turrets have left. Unstoppable with the Kui. They've got the court coming out as well. Nexus is there. Nexus to be attacked. And 2v0. They probably had it anyway. The Dragon Soul claimed, but the base belongs to FlyQuest 3 and 3. An exciting end there from FlyQuest. Afro Suku.